Maker 20 years after Incubus's album Make Yourself went double platinum, the band is now hitting the road to celebrate the LP that announced the group as a force to be reckoned with. So joining us now is Brandon Boyd, the lead singer of Incubus. Brandon, great to have you here. Uh, it felt like only yesterday that I was in middle school going to your guys' concerts. So does it feel like you've been doing this for 20 years? It, in a way, it feels like it was only yesterday for, for me, I think for the guys in the band too. But um, in other ways, it also feels like a lifetime ago, especially when we start looking at pictures and video of that time period, then it really kind of hits home like, wow, <laughs> 20 years. <laughs> yeah, 20 years is a long time. What do you think has changed the most in those last 20 years? And what are you excited about this time around? Huh, that's a good question. Um, well, there's certainly more like gray hair running around in the band. Um, I think we, for the most part, have our, our kind of our wiggles worked out. Uh, when you're in your 20s making music and touring, it's, um, it was a very different experience for us. When we tour now, um, there's a lot of that same feeling. Uh, that, that original kind of uh, energy is still there, but there's a feeling now that's a little bit more calm around it. It feels less kind of erratic and frantic. Um, but yeah, the world has also changed pretty dramatically in the past 20 years. And it's interesting uh, being a musician and making music in amongst all of those changes. You know, oh. when we put out Make Yourself 20 years ago, there was no, uh, the, the internet wasn't as much of a thing as it is now. So that's just, for example. Yeah, no, that's a very good point. Uh, and by the way, Make Yourself isn't just the name of one of the biggest albums that you guys ever did. It's also the name of your nonprofit as well. So tell us about the foundation. Mm, yeah, the Make Yourself Foundation, we started in, uh, right around 2003. And uh, we are a nonprofit and we do music and band related activities to raise money and awareness for Lots of other nonprofit organizations. Uh, a bunch of them are um, environmentally based. A bunch of them are humanitarian based. Um, but yeah, it's been a lot of fun to. It's been a really cool way for us to uh, meet and talk to our kind of hardcore listeners over the past 16 years that we've been doing it, and um, also help to uh, make a tiny little dent in certain issues that concern all of us. Yeah, to that point, how do you and your team decide which organizations to contribute to? Are there any personal attachments? You mentioned the environment. What is that process like in really figuring out mm. who you want to contribute to? Yeah, it, it starts usually by some kind of uh, personal experience with something. So case in point, we started the Make Yourself Foundation um, and some of the first grants we did were to uh, the Surfrider Foundation and to Heal the Bay, uh, because most of us in the band uh, grew up surfing and still surf, and so we were kind of um, uh, on the front line, so to speak, of a lot of uh, oceanic pollution and things like that. So it seemed like a really, a really good way to help raise money and awareness for these wonderful organizations. And then it just kind of kept expanding from there, and so issues that would come up um, uh, around us in the band or around family members or close friends that were close to our heart. Um, we started to, and we continue to do our best to support and to um, support our listeners' interests as well around these, around these types of things. So it's been really cool. It's been very much a win-win, as I like to say. Yeah, Brandon, when I was uh, growing up, a huge fan, Make Yourself was one of my favorite albums. I had a concert shirt that said, you guys had the shirt, it said, go F yourself on the back. My mom wouldn't let me wear it to school, so she changed the F to a P. So I went to school with a go puck yourself shirt uh, for many days. It was kind of ridiculous, but I kind of love it still to this day. <laughs> was, was that like a Shakespearean nod? I guess, <laughs> yes, puck. maybe. Yeah, that? go puck yourself, indeed. Uh, so yeah. tell us about the new single you guys have into the song. Summer. Yeah, we um, we have new music uh, that just came out. Gosh, what is that? Ten days ago, um, the new single is called "Into the Summer," and uh, it's going to be the first of a handful of singles we're going to be putting out over the coming months. And yeah, it's fun. We love making music, and so we're going to keep doing it. <laughs> Brandon, who are the artists or musicians that inspire you? Where do you, as a member of Incubus, get your inspiration from? 
Um, wow, that's a big question. I, I'm constantly inspired by um, music um, from the past and from the present and from the future. No. Uh, <laughs> I'm also uh, largely inspired by um, the people that, uh, whose works I read and, and by painters who I admire. So, I mean, we could spend hours talking about this alone. Um, but I, I guess I could just give you some sort of uh, earlier influences for me and for some of the guys in the band. Like, uh, right around the, the time period uh, where we were writing and recording Make Yourself, so 20 so years ago, um, all of us in the band had a kind of collective obsession with um, drum and bass music that was coming out of the UK and Europe. And we were kind of all collectively obsessed with Bjork. And uh, among other bands, there were so many bands that we were obsessed with. But we were, before Make Yourself, I think we were still kind of emulating our influences and in the stuff that was inspiring us. And we were doing it unknowingly, but we were just sort of immature musicians. And so as we started to kind of age up into our early 20s, even though that's still really young, uh, I think we were doing a much better job of, of uh, filtering the influences. So a lot of that drum and bass music that we were falling in love with as we were touring around Europe and the UK was kind of filtering through us and coming out in songs like Pardon Me. And um, there's a second track on the record, it's called Nowhere Fast. And so a lot of the verses on Make Yourself have a kind of, uh, it's almost like they're like sped up jazz beats. And then we were inflecting it with, with rock guitar. And we were just, we were playing, you know, and it was really, it was really fun and exciting. So I think we probably still do that. I think we've just gotten, once again, I, I hope we've gotten better at filtering the things that inspire us as opposed to just plagiarizing. <laughs> well, Brandon, congratulations on all the success. Congratulations also on the 20th anniversary. That's Brandon Boyd of Incubus. The Make Yourself 20th Anniversary Tour kicking off in my hometown of Denver on September the 13th. Tickets on sale now. Brandon, great to have you here. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Cheers.